What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be bringing you one of the teams of all time. In case you're not aware of this strategy, what we've got here is Power of Alchemy Muck with the intention of passing it Moody. Smeargle, when it goes down, will pass its ability Moody onto this Muck, which hopefully, with the support of Fake Out, Spore, and Follow Me, has gotten a few minimized boosts off. You then can stall as much as you want with this Screamtail and this Muck to try to get as many boosts as possible for Co-Star Flamigo to then come in. Now Moody will also give you negative stats, so this Flamigo has a white herb, so that when it gets the negative stats and the positive stats, the negative stats disappear, and it can throw off powerful acrobatuses. But this is really disgusting. And <laughs> I can tell you, I do not want to see this on the ladder, and yet I'm bringing it to you anyway. It also has a Don Dozo version, but that's toxic in its own way, and I don't think I'm going to be using it very much today. So, without further ado, I guess let's do it. Alright, we've got a match. Let's see what nasty, nasty things we can do. The number one concern I have is if the Amoongus has clear smog, because that would counter both the Dondozo and the Muck. Because clear smog will not miss. Other than that, they have a potential fake out lead. They have a redirector. They have Taunt Tornadus, so maybe Smeargle can't get much done. But that's okay. I think the Muck Smeargle mode is the way to go. And just Screamtail in the back. Is there any reason to bring Tatsugiri? It has Haunt, but we have Disable, so we should be alright. Well, I don't know about alright. I'm going to h for using this team. But hopefully I have a fun time getting there. Alright, pick your team. Oh, they're scared. I don't see any other than the Duraludon. Sorry, Archaladon with Heavy Slam maybe, but that's pretty rare. It's not actually very heavy. I don't think they have any other perfect accuracies. They could Rain Dance with their Torn and get perfect accuracy Bleak Winds. That's an option. Uh, Perish Song on their Fluttermane. That would ruin our day. I find myself kind of hoping that they do have something for this because I feel nasty already. All right, who do we have to muck up first? Amoongus and Incineroar. They just drop an Intimidate. All right, so we're a little bit behind. I could just pop a Minimize and try to dodge a Spore. That could be funny. And just fake out their Incin. That seems like the funny thing to do. And so that's what I will do. Alright. We get the fake off. Then they immediately flinch. And then we get our minimize. And they land, they do connect the spore. Okay. What is that? Three fifths accuracy? 60%? That's okay. That's okay. That's not insane. So, we're gonna be asleep a turn, but that's fine. I think my best bet might be to spore. Yeah, just to stall out as many turns as I can, I'm gonna spore their cat. I could follow me and try to go down, but... Oh right, Rage Powder will redirect the Spore. Okay, so they saw that coming. That's fine. You're gonna knock off my leftovers? Just going for a Flare Blitz. Into Smeargle for some reason. That's an interesting choice. 
Okay. I want Smeargle to go down. I want these booty boosts over there. Oh, and a speed drop. All right, where are you at now? Plus one attack, plus one special defense, minus one speed. Yeah, none of that's very interesting. Uh, gonna go for another Minimize. And gonna go for Follow Me this time. Because I expected them to knock off. Maybe they will now. But now I know I can't get the Spore because they just want a Rage Powder all day. All right, they're going for a Terrastalization. They have Grass Incineroar? Is that your plan? They do. Okay. So they want to get a move off with each. Uh, I guess they could take out Smeargle. And then if Muck wakes up, go for another Spore. But we'll be at plus four evasion then. Let's see what they're going for. Yep, they are going for a Flare Blitz. So we're getting the Moody transfer. I love it. Power of Alchemy gets Moody you take one recoil. We wake up and we get the minimize. So that's three-sevenths accuracy on Spore. Oh, they have clear smog. Oh, that... Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Give me an attack boost right now. Right, right now. Special defense up. Speed down. Oh, no. All right, we are going to disable that clear smog. That has to stop. Gonna start dumping everything I have into that Amoongus. <laughs> uh, but I should probably pop a Minimize first. And just disable that guy. Man, they have clear smog. Had clear smog. And taunt? Oh, goodness. And then they just put the scream tail to sleep. Oh, boy. Alright, well, we're still getting our moody boosts. Special defense up again. And another speed drop. We're actually gonna go after the Amoongus. We cannot do anything but knock off. So, let's knock it off. This thing isn't going to go anyway. That's why we'll just throw any old thing. Alright, what do you got now? We are asleep. You're just going to start chucking Flare Blitzes, I see. That does decent damage. Maybe we can get burned and then not get spored. No, we get spored. Alrighty. We could go for a Disable on the Flare Blitz now. That would be pretty nice. Just stop their damage output entirely. And we do get an attack boost now. We can start doing damage. And another, another speed drop. Wow. We just gonna go slow. Real slow. Last turn of Taunt. All we can go for is knockoff, but at least we'll go after the Amoongus, and we'll try to disable that Flare Blitz. Let's see if we can wake up. Screamtail, you don't look that sleepy. Okay, hard swapping Amoongus, they want another clear smog later. I get it. Just into our Chaladon. Oh, we get the Disable on the Flare Blitz. That's amazing. Oh, and they go for a Taunt on Screamtail. Okay. And we wake up and get a knockoff. It does a lot of damage, too. Okay, you had Stamina and you had an Assault Vest. That's pretty normal. Alright, now what I really want is a good boost on this Muck. Because Muck shook off the taunt. We get a defense raise. 
and a special defense fall. That thing is really bulky and strong. I think that's good. I think it's time to just protect from the taunt and bring in the Flamigo. We won't take the speed drop because of the white herb. And we can't stay in with that because we'll just struggle. I guess it's time to sweep with Flamigo. And they cancel the battle. You had all the tools, I don't know what's wrong. Alright, we broke that last person's spirit. They had what they needed and they just couldn't, they just couldn't do it. They didn't have the willpower. Uh, this time we're fighting a Chen Pao Water Pond, Thunderous, Iron Leaves, Iron Treads, Iron Moth. I'm thinking that Thunderous probably has electric terrain, which is perfectly fine by me. What do you have to stop Muck? Your Thunderous might have Haunt, but that'll only matter if we Terra. Your Chen Pao definitely has Sacred Sword. That will be able to hit Muck, but we have Terra Fairy. I don't think Iron Treads uses Heavy Slam, but if it does, that could hit us. I don't think it usually uses that. But we're gonna go with the normal mode. Yeah, I think we're gonna bring the same four. Oh, I don't think it's a Tatsugiri Dondozo game. I mean, that could be fine, but that's not what we're really here to do. We're here to be menaces and break people's spirits. I think that first guy gave up on Pokemon. I don't think he's going to play this game anymore. Let's see if we can do the same thing to this guy. Ooh, good Chen Pao card. Alright, who are you leading? Thunderous and Iron Threads. Okay. I see you. I am just gonna go right for a minimize, and I'm gonna fake out that treads. That seems like a good play to me. Oh, they could also have Rain Dance and Wild Bolt Storm, which could always hit Mutt. Alright, they just set up Electric Terrain. Do they not even have Taunt? They likely would have taunted Smeargle. And you get the attack boost. Does Iron Treads even get Heavy Slam? And it's 100 base power against Muck if it does. Okay. Alright, we got our Minimize. We got our Evasion boost. Smeargle got a Defense boost. Which is pretty funny. I think I just go for another Minimize and go for a Follow Me. With my Defense Boost, I mean, you'll have to double up anyway because of the Sash. Oh, they do have Rain Dance. Wild Bolt Storm is on the table. But they knock off the Sash. Okay. That makes me think you were going for a knockoff on the leftovers and therefore don't have heavy slam. So that's fine. Now I think the play might just be to protect and let Smeargle go down. Because I don't want to actually take the Wild Bolt Storm until I have to. So let's just protect. Uh, if the Treads targets Muck, we might be able to get a Spore off into that Thunderous. Maybe not. We'll see. Alright, just to protect. And then an Earthquake. Okay. Uh, Smeargle's at plus two defense, but I kind of hope this takes it out anyway. And it doesn't. <laughs> but Wild Bolt Storm has to connect. And that's good, because now we can actually disable your Wild Bolt Storm, which is amazing. We receive Moody. And give me a good boost. Attack Raise. Attack Raise is a good boost. I'll take it. Alright, because I wanted to go... Terra Fairy eventually anyway. I think I'll pop it now. Just in case an Earthquake hits us. Because we don't have a defense boost yet. So Earthquake with Quark Drive active might do a bit more than I want. 
though it's unlikely to hit. But I will Terastalize, and I will just throw a hit at Iron Treads, and I will simply disable the move that actually hits. Our Terra's coming out, so they're not Terastalizing. I don't think they had any Terra that would have really helped this situation. No type is immune to disable, because we're not Prankster. They could throw off a different Prankster move. Oh, Eerie Impulse. Okay. Now we can disable that and encore you into it unless you take us out. That's fine by me. And yeah, they're trying to take us out. They do not succeed. Brilliant. And Iron Treads is now half. It was clear aim it. Okay. Uh, speed rays on Muck. We don't really... And special defense drop, that's fine. I think the right play is another knockoff on the treads. An encoring thunderous. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. We might lose our screen tail here, but then we'll have our two crazy threats set up and a thunderous that can't do anything. Yes, we get the Encore. Iron Head. We dodge. That's amazing. And you can't attack. And then Knockoff finishes off Treads. We didn't even lose our Scream Tail there. And we'll get a free turn from the Thunderous because it is now only able to struggle. Ooh, another attack boost. Incredible. And next is Iron Moth. Alright, who do I think you're switching your Thunderous into? I don't think it's very important. I think all I need to do... Wow, that attack is crazy. But our special defense is down. It seems like a waste to just protect. so that I can disable Iron Moth's move. But it might be the play anyway. No, I'm gonna protect and then bring in... Yeah, I'm bringing in Co-Star. I think it's time. Maybe I did this too early, but I don't think so. <laughs> Flamigo the Rampaging. Oh, it's about to be Rampaging. It has so many attack boosts, so many evasion boosts. Oh, and they leave Thunderous in for a struggle. Wow. Oh, and Hurricane, there you go, that won't miss. Well, I did not see that coming. That's a surprise. Isn't this rain over yet? Thank you, the rain is over. All right, you no longer have your accuracy. And I got special defense, finally. <laughs> Sorry, Flamigo, I did not see Hurricane coming. I guess that's their point. That guy's still struggling, so I'm just gonna throw a knockoff. We have a lot of attack, a special defense boost. That should be fine. Knockoff should take out that moth, and then we'll just protect. No sense in giving this up just yet. Uh, okay. They don't want Moth going down. Uh, they have Chen Pao. That can actually take a knockoff. So all it can really throw is Sacred Swords, which won't do much. I guess it could try to hit an Ice Spinner. Thunderous just struggles. Right into the Protect. And then a knockoff into Chen Pao. Does so much damage! Wow! Alright, Thunderous Encore is over. And then Muck gets... Nothing of consequence. Wow. Now I think I want to go for a knockoff into Thunderous. And... 
Shen Pao goes for attack and misses, I can disable it. That seems right. Okay, they just set up electric terrain. I don't... I feel like the rain would have been better for you. I'm not sure what you get out of putting up electric terrain. And they just crash into that. Okay. Goodbye, Screamtail. Muck. Get him. <laughs> Bye, Thunderous. Normally you take advantage of evasion boost and defense boost, but this muck decided it just wants all the attack. Special defense raise and a little bit of an attack drop. Okay. And now we've got Iron Maw. With a cork drive, presumably special attack. No, it's speed. Okay, you've sacrificed some special attack to be able to do that. And I have plus three special defense. I think the right play, honestly, is to protect here. Just stall out, get some more boosts, see what they want to do, see if they throw out a protect of their own. Because now we can pick out Chen Pao next turn if we want. This is nasty and I feel gross. Oh, and they sludge wave. They're going to take out their own Chen Pao. I like to see that. Another special defense raise. Okay, so you're gonna have to hit through all this and crit me if you want to do anything. So I'm gonna knock you off and assume that you're gonna knock out your Chen Pao before it even gets to attack. They are finally terrestrializing. It's the Chen Pao and it's Ghost. Oh, do you think that's gonna save you? I assume your choice specs off by the way you swapped out earlier. Yeah, you're just sludge waving, and your Chen Pao is gone, but we are A-OK. -okay. That was their play. They took out their Chen Pao so that they wouldn't have the lowered defense so that they can live the knockoff. Oh, and they got the poison. Wow, I'm surprised they hit it all. But knockoff takes them out. Good, well, not good game, but game. And it was choice specs. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I don't feel good about this, but I'm gonna keep doing it. That last player never gave up. They stuck it out to the bitter end. I think we should all strive to be a little bit more like that player. All right, but now in the present, we've got a Rillaboom, Incineroar, Fluttermane, Lando Eye, Urshifu and Raging Bolt. Uh, presumably Water Urshifu. So how do we want to proceed this time? They don't seem to have any heavy slams. I don't think they have a Rain Dance anywhere on there to make Sandseer Storm hit. They do have Urshifu, which is a little scary. It's probably the Water one. Uh, could we go the other mode with Tatsugiri Parish Song? I think that might be kind of funny, in all honesty. But I don't know if we get it. They're definitely going to lead a fake out. So I think we just go normal. Uh, I guess they could fake out... Hmm. They go for fake out on Smeargle and then a Surging Strikes or something into Muck. That could be pretty annoying. That's what I think they're going to lead. Okay. No. We're here to muck around. And that is what we're going to do. Win or lose. Hopefully lose. I want to lose. I don't want to take wins from people. I'm at a decent point on the ladder now. These people are losing points to this. And I'm sure they're getting very frustrated. Okay, it's actually Fluttermane and Landorus. Unless that's speed boosting Flutter, we totally could have pulled off the other combo. Oh, uh, it is speed booster, so maybe not. Alright. What is there to do but minimize? We could always see something weird. We could see Taunt. Fluttermane. We could see Taunt Landorus. 
We could see... I don't think Fluttermane gets a Rain Dance. We could see Terra Ghost on the Landorus. That would be pretty messed up. But we just go for the Fake Out. We get the Fake Out. And they have Taunt on the Fluttermane. Wow. Wow. That's just crazy. His Taunt Fluttermane picked up. I saw a few of these now. Alright, we're going to swap into Co-Star Flamigo. And we are going to Spiky Shield. That way, we dodge the ground move. And can come back in and follow me away the Taunt. And then get a Minimize, finally. Hopefully. Someday. We do consume our, consume our white herb for this, but we have to do something. We gotta get the moody on the muck. Uh, they go for a taunt on Smeargle. That's fine. That's expected. And they just sub up with Landorus. Oh. Oh boy. We get a speed raise on Smeargle. But I think we already got a speed drop on Smeargle, so that we're only at plus one. And this guy has a special attack. Alright, now I want to go into Muck. Man, this is tough. And I want to use Follow Me. I think we might finally have our loss. Oh, I like this. I like this. They're making me think. I can't just click the Minimize button. Go, oh, muck the beaming. Get the follow me. If you just throw attacks, I'd be thrilled. Oh, they just icy win. Okay. Now attack the Smeargle. Do it. Earth power the Smeargle. Earth power. Into Smeargle. Oh, we got it. Okay. All right. We got the Moody. Now that's just step one. There is more to be done here. We're unlikely to get a Minimize off ever. But we get a Defense Boost and a Special Attack Drop. I think we have to go this way. And I think what I have to do is hope I'm slower than Fluttermane and disable it. What's our speed stat? 179? A speed boosting Fluttermane should be faster than us. I would think. I would hope. Okay. So we just throw a Protect, they try to taunt us, and then we disable their taunt. Or, they taunt our scream tail, and we're in big trouble. They are terrestrializing into poison. So they want this thing gone. I don't think they're gonna taunt it. I think this is a massive sludge bomb at the scream tail. But first, we're gonna be able to get the disable off. I hope. Muck protects. Show me Fluttermane taunt into Muck. Oh no, we were faster? Oh no! Why is your speed booster so slow? Oh, they were going for Icy Wind. That's strange. Well, that's a live! Wow! Wow! Why did we live that? We had no right to live that. And a speed raise on Muck, and a defense drop on Muck. Now surely they would go for a ground move on the Muck. So it's time to use the Terra Fairy and go for a Minimize. We have to Encore this Fluttermane 
because they do have taunt. But if we can encore them into Icy Wind, yeah, then they can't do anything. Okay, they're smart enough. They know to switch out. They want to save that taunt for later, maybe. Well, that's not a big deal, honestly. I just want to get the boost and then go crazy. If you don't stop me from getting the boost originally, what are you doing? Do I think it's at all likely that they don't take out Screamtail here? Encore fails because they just swapped out. And they go for an Earth Power into Muck. Oh, they hit. Oh no, we didn't minimize yet, right? Yeah, that's fine. That's expected. That's actually the better case. Now we can double protect. Let them throw off a sludge bomb, and then disable the sludge bomb. Another speed raise on Muck, and a special attack drop. Good, we don't need that special attack. We are currently fast, but not very strong, and just a physical defense raise. How fast are we? Plus three speed, but Muck is super slow. I think at plus four. Four, we might be faster than that lander is. Uh, but here is just a clean double protect. Do they even go for fake out when they see I have Encore? I don't know. But obviously I'm much more concerned with the lander is. I know Encore can go through sub, but can disable? I don't actually know if Disable goes through sub. Oh, we got a special defense rise. Okay, let's look this up. We'll try to figure this out in the next 10 seconds. Okay, okay, okay. Da -da -da -da. This page is way too long. We're just gonna have to find out now. 20 seconds. Minimize. And going for the disable through sub. It works through sub! Oh, I am so glad to find that out. I found that out live. I could not search it fast enough. And we are faster than the lander is. Oh, they just go for Earth Power, they're smart. But we do dodge. And we dodge Flare Blitz. Okay. That's excellent. Now we're gaming. We get an Attack Rise. And a Special Defense Drop. But we currently have positive Special Defense Boosts. I think it's time to remove that sub. No. Is it time to minimize again? It's time to get our third minimize. We want the third minimize. And then do I just protect the Screamtail? I feel like they're finally annoyed by the Screamtail, so I'm gonna protect it. We get our final minimize before they can attack, which is great. Oh, and they connect an Earth Power. It doesn't do too much because of our special defense raises. And they try to knock... Oh, no. They're just going straight after Muck every time. And we got an attack boost now. I think it's time to start hitting. I'm gonna knock off that substitute, and I'm going to... 
They seem to know the switch moves on their Incineroar, so they're gonna go for Flare Blitz this time. But I would rather them be using Knock Off. I'm just... There's not much to do. I'm just gonna go for a Protect. That may seem like a weird choice, but maybe it'll work. Tire Foudry. Okay, a Raging Bolt. Uh, we don't get the Protect. That's fine. We knock off your sub. That's great. And then you just... Earth Power, and you hit again? Wow, we are low on health. I would like for you to be dead now, please. Another attack raise. I might be able to make you dead. Our evasiveness is max, our attack is nearly max. And our speed is still faster than Landorus. So I think we just knock off, eliminate the Landorus. Is there anything Screamtail can do here? I guess... No, we just knock off Landorus. And if they go for something silly... I see nothing better to click than Protect. I'd never want to click Parish Song. Not with Muck on the field. We get the knockoff, plus five. Goodbye, Landorus. Now they're gonna throw a move at it, and if they connect, they probably win. But this is the only turn I'm gonna let them get this. Oh, and they land. Oh, good game. Good game. Muck finally goes down. Alright, you had everything, and you just wouldn't miss. Sometimes that's how it goes. Now let's see, do we try to fight this out? We could disable Thunderbolt. I don't think there were any stat changes on that. Oh, there was, there was a minus attack. <laughs> Alright, it's time to run. Good game, and I'm sorry. Alright, they kept hitting last game, and so we couldn't get the dub, but honestly, I prefer to see Muck lose. Alright, this time we've got a Sandy Shox, Urshifu, Entei, Fluttermane, Corviknight, and Dragapult. That's super interesting. I wonder if the Sandy Shox has gravity, because that could partially cancel out the minimizes. But other than that, they have a few things that can carry taunt, but don't usually. They don't seem to have anything that takes advantage of gravity, so I'm gonna say they probably don't have it. So we're just gonna go Muck Smeargle. But honestly, Dondozo Tatsugiri in the back doesn't seem bad. The only problem is having to have it come in after Smeargle goes down. So yeah, we're gonna go the original mode. Yeah, this isn't a Dondozo team for me. This is a Muck team. This is a disgusting team. I feel physically ill using this team. Maybe it's what I had for lunch. No, it's probably the Muck. Now, we haven't really been toxic stalling with this Muck. Perhaps I should try to throw a few more of those around when I get time. But mostly I've been getting the attack boost instead of the bulk boost. Okay, double ghosty leads. There will be no fake out. If we follow me, we would take both dragon darts and Smeargle would go down. Do I fish for a moody speed boost and just double protect turn one? That seems pretty reasonable.
Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with that. I could also simply just protect follow me, which seems weird, but might be better. Just guarantee I can pass over the Moody without having to take any damage. Just following me, and it is Dragon Darts. So we just go down. Fluttermane would have got a shot off into Muck. But now we take Moody. They have Taunt. We come in with Scream Tail. We disable their Taunt. And we Terra Fairy, making Dragon Darts blank. And we got a Defense Raise anyway. Yep. We need to get rid of that Taunt. And then we need to start minimizing as soon as possible. And I didn't see a booster energy on that thing. I don't think. But yeah, if we just Terra Fairy and minimize, I assume most Dragapults are choice. And then we just disable their taunt and start being annoying. Okay, they just left immediately with their Dragapult. That's okay. Who do you have? Sandy Shocks. I'm not specifically worried about that. And that's where your booster energy is. And it's on speed. But your max speed is 168, and the Screamtail has 179. So we're faster than you anyway. I think this might be a good position. Good for Muck. So, it's bad for society. Alright, your taunt is disabled, and your taunt is disabled. That means you cannot taunt. Another defense raise, and a special defense drop. I think I want to play this super slow this time, so I'm actually going to protect on both of these. That way I can catch whatever they're going to try to do and disable it, and cycle around doing that. They actually stay in with Fluttermane, which I'm okay with seeing that. It's not a big problem for me. They just throw a Thunderbolt. Okay. They saw the down special defense and tried, decided to do something about it. And just a Dazzling Gleam. They're not going to try to swap out to get their taunt back. Just simple little plays. A Speed Raise is interesting. But another special defense drop I don't like. Speed is only at plus one, so we're not actually faster than anything. But we need to minimize. And my best way to do that would be to try to disable that Thunderbolt. Alright, they stay in with both. They're just attacking. Let's see if they're smart enough to switch to Earth Power. They are, and they connect for a ton of damage. And Dazzling Gleam, we do dodge. That's good. That's really good. And we get off yet another Minimize. Now if we could get a special defense boost, that would be great. Another speed raise though is what we get. We are just going to protect and we are just going to The taunt wears off this turn. But not if we encore your Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm happy to see you just Dazzling Gleam forever. It's better than taunt. And I would really like to get a special defense boost now, Muck. Oh, and they just throw Electro Web. Okay, they were planning. Now their Fluttermane is going to be faster, and they think they can go for the taunt. 
but they cannot because they are locked. Now what are the odds we dodge both of these moves? We only really need to dodge the Earth Power, but if we get a special defense boost... That's another speed boost! Wow! And another special defense drop, so we have to dodge these moves. We've got four evasion. Not any attack, but a super low special defense. I think we minimize again, take advantage of those speed boosts to get all the way up to maximum evasion. That's the only play. And is there a play for Screamtail? I guess we want to keep it around for as long as possible, so let's just protect. We protect the little Jigglypuff. We get the plus... oh! They're still faster. Okay. Well, we dodged the important one, and we got to plus six evasion. And then Dazzling Gleam gets blocked, and connects on Muck, taking us out. That is another GG's. Two taunt flutter mains in a row. That's weird. Let's jump ahead and do one more. All right, I'm gonna call this the last one. I am disgusted by this muck. It is not, com this is not competitive Pokemon. What you are watching is coin flips over and over. So they've got a Flutter Mane. They've got a Gouging Fire, Water Pond, Chen Pao. Uh, Kowtow Cleave actually doesn't miss. So they have the King Gambit, which can get around Minimize, though it can't do much damage. And finally, Rillaboom. We're gonna do the exact same thing we've been doing. And may God have mercy on my soul. Win or lose, this is not a fun way to play Pokemon. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, let's see, what do they have? They could potentially have Heat Crash on their Gouging Fire. They have Sacred Sword on Chen Pao. They have Kowtow Cleave on King Gambit. Neither of those do that much, but the Heat Crash would actually do enormous damage. And there's also a Flutter Mane, which apparently nowadays runs Taunt. I ran into two Taunt Flutter Mains now. I had almost never seen that before. But now that I do these shenanigans, it's what everybody's got. Their whole team, minus the Gouging Fire, can actually learn Taunt. So there could very well be a Taunt coming my way. But they were thinking the whole time. They must not know their plan for this team. From now on in team building, I think, what's my game play into Muck? Alright, who are you leading? Gouging Fire and Chen Pao. This strikes me as a maybe you have they have a booster energy for speed. Maybe you have heat crash. Maybe. But I just want to minimize. And I just want to follow me. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine for Smeargle to go down right away. I could fake out one, but then the other could hit Muck before it minimizes, and I don't want to have any of that. They do have Heat Crash. Thank you for sending it turn one. I want to disable that so bad. And just Icicle Crash. Thank you for not missing. Smeargle, thank you for your moody. And now they're not going to miss with Heat Crash, but they're not going to be able to ignore any defense boosts I get. You hear that, Monk? Defense boosts. Not, that's special attack. That, that, that didn't help you, Monk. That wasn't what we wanted. And now we are in on Screamtail. I'm just going to nice and easy disable that Heat Crash real quick. 
and also throw a Toxic. I want to put that thing on a timer so it's done. I know we only got one Minimize, but I think it's the thing to do. Heat Crash next to a Chen Pao is gonna hurt. I know you're only a speed booster, so you don't have a lot of attack investment, but it's gonna hurt. I wanna stop it, and then I wanna stop you. And with an attack drop, knockoff's not gonna do anything. You're not holding an item. But yes, no heat crashes for you, please. And they go for Howl. Oh, wow. Okay, they have a plan into Muck then. A boosted icicle crash. Doesn't do very much, honestly. And we get off our toxic. Our beautiful little toxic. Now, as much as I hate you heat crashing, I don't like you howling either. But I have to minimize. Do I have to minimize? Is it better to start doing damage damage to this Chen Pao, which likely has Sacred Sword? So I'm gonna throw a Toxic your way. And just throw up a Protect, I guess. Yeah, and then if I do see Sacred Sword come out, I can disable that. Another Howl. So they know what they want to do. I'm terrified. And it is Sacred Sword. Which doesn't take us out, thankfully. And now we can disable that. May not be looking great for Mug. They have... They have plans. They know what they're doing. And we get a special attack. Nope, I wanted defense. Defense down, oh no. All right, what's the timeline on all this? Two more disable turns for you. Gonna need to disable you. We got speed up, we got attack and defense down. We could use another evasion boost. And just disable the sacred sword. That's all that needs to be done. That's all that can be done, really. I do like the speed boosts. It's possible to maybe come in for a Flamigo sweep if we ever get an attack boost. They go for a breaking swipe, which we thankfully dodge. And they just Icicle Crash. So Flamigo is gonna be coming in next turn. Muck, you give it an attack boost or something. We will have the evasion boosts and we have one more turn of them not being able to heat crash. So give us something good right here, and we have a chance, Muck. It's all up to you. It's all up to you, Muck. Come on. An attack raise, and a special defense down? That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted, Muck. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are in with the co-star Flamigo. And we consume our Whiter, so we have the full powered acrobatics. Wonderful. We have plus one attack, plus two speed, plus four evasion. The defenses are down on Muck, but that doesn't matter too much. How much speed is that? Plus two? Flamigo should be fastest on the field now. Is there anything for Muck to do but minimize here? We need to eliminate this thing. That thing's disabled for a while. I do think minimize is the right play for later. And then I'm just gonna throw an acrobatics at the gouging fire. Could they burning bulwark here? Yes, but they don't. And they are gone. With a crit! I hope we didn't need that crit. And now since you can't Sacred Sword, we're gonna dodge this Icicle Crash. Thank you. And we're gonna minimize again. Just cause Knock Off wasn't gonna do any damage to you anyway. 
All right. All right, Flamigo. This is disgusting. They did everything right. They're, they made all of the right plays. They brought Heat Crash, they brought Sacred Sword. They're howling up to boost that Chen Pao to crazy levels. This is a crazy strong team with answers to Muck. And now they've got Ogre Pond in. I think a plus two attack Chen Pao is scarier than an Ogre Pond. What's our Muck's attack stat? Plus one? Uh, knockoff isn't gonna KO. I'll just toxic the Ogre Pond. And throw in Acrobatics. What's our Terra? Terra flying. I don't see any reason to pull that out yet. And just Acrobatics into the Chen Pao. I'd still rather resist Sucker Punch. They just go for Spiky Shield on the Ogre Pond. That's pretty much what I expected. And they do go for Sucker Punch. But we dodge. Because we are just too skillful. Yes. I'm just so good that I can just command my Pokemon to dodge. This has nothing to do with random chance. This is not a toxic strategy. No, this is, this is pure skill. This Flamigo was just trained right. If your Flamigo isn't dodging Sucker Punches, you just didn't train it right. Get a new one. And we finally get that defense boost I've been asking for. Thank you, Muck. I'm going to throw up after this battle. I really truly hope they find a way to pull out a win, but I don't see it happening. I would I would love to see them win, but it's not it's not going to happen. We're just going to knock off. No. I'm going to be like that. Technically we should double protect from the fake out turn. Oh, that's so nasty. I hate that. I hate that I have to make the right play here. Technically, they could hit a fake out and then an Ivy Cudgel, and that could maybe take out Flamigo. I guess that could happen. Oh, oh, this is gross. This is gross. I am, I am going to burn this rental code. I might not even show you guys this. I might go back and edit out the rental code so you can't have this. I don't want to see this on the ladder. I should not be encouraging this. I should never upload this video. I'm just going to burn my laptop for having this on there. Okay, they just go for the Ivy Cudgel into the Muck. We block that. And they go for a Wood Hammer into the Flamigo. We block that. We get plenty of nice healing from the Muck. Ah, the acrobatics into Rillaboom should be pretty free, and there's no point in using Terra anywhere else. We finally got some good attack boosts on Muck, so actually Knockoff will do a lot for the Ogre Pond now. And there's no reason to use Terra anywhere else, so I'm just going to acrobatics the Rillaboom with Terra flying. Make sure it absolutely goes down. And that should be game. But they are not giving up. We had the one opponent give up, but everyone else played it out. To some of their benefit. Oh, they hit a grassy glide. Good for you. I applaud you. You hit one move. Oh, jeez. This is gross. Oh, no. Okay. Ivy Cudgel. Misses. And knockoff does half. Well, at least now you can get you can get the spiky shield and get a little get a little damage that way. Chip us down a little bit. And a speed drop on Muck, so I mean you're faster than Muck. I'm not sure what you're really gonna do now. And the battle was finally canceled. Alright. All right, here we are with the part of the video where I tell you how much fun I had and how you should totally try out the team. And I thank the creator for making this because of how much fun I had. But honestly, I did not have fun. I do not want you to use this team. 
and to the creator of this strategy in general and to this team in particular. May God have mercy on your soul.